In this strategy theory session at Mahjong time, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you haven't played here yet, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you information on their VIP trial. Let's check out these tiles. We have flower, 278 in bams, 578 in cracks, 245 in dots, red and west. No multiples. We do have a joker though. So the predominant pattern I see here, seven, eight, or four, five. Four, five is in the middle of the number range. It's more flexible than seven, eight. Although seven, eight is in two suits. Let's stick with seven, eight. We'll discard the, the two, the four, and a west. We'll go with big numbers. Maybe we can switch to five, seven, nine, if we get nines. We have an eight. We did get a four and a three. So a couple of little numbers did come in. Let's stick with the plan. We may or may not be able to use that red dragon. So let's discard the two, three, four. We can keep the five for just a little bit. So right now, seven, eight is the predominant pattern and we got little numbers. These don't help, but at least we can pass defensively. Maybe we could do one south and a five. Let's see if we can get bigger numbers. Big numbers. Six through nine would be ideal. Is that asking too much? Someone's passing just two. We got a big number and our first multiple. Okay, well that feels better. Let's continue, hopefully. My opponent across from me passed. Okay, they do wanna keep going. Whew, I was thinking if they only passed one or they passed two, so they passed one blind, I thought maybe they'll stop the Charleston, but they didn't. All right, let's let the five go maybe, or let's see here. Let's let the red dragon go instead, because if we happen to get a nine bam, let's say, we could do five, seven, seven, nine. Oh, look, we built up the five right there, five. And we have tiles we can pass, so we're gonna stick with it. I think big odds might work if we can just get a nine in here. Any nine will do, I think. Well, that's not true. A nine dot or a nine bam would be ideal. No keepers, but we have tiles to pass. Looks like we may have a gap hand. Oh, you know what? If we get a six dot, that might help. A six or a nine. We got wins. Oh my gosh, look at that. All wins. Yikes. I would not pass all wins. I think we can give up two, maybe the eight dot and one of the wins, and we're going to be an underdog for this game. Let's see how many our opponent wants first. I like to wait for my opponent to offer before I do, because there's no backsies in this platform for optional. If you say you want three and your opponent wants one, you have to give one. No backsies. All right, so we're looking for a nine. <coughs> no nine. Little numbers were better Eighth for this win. set of tiles, but that's okay. I North think win. we're going to do just fine when we get to picking and discarding. So here we West go. Win. Five, six, seven, eight, mix suit, mix suit. Two characters. Pung, pung, kong, kong, five, six, seven, eight, right there. Two bamboos. We're going to keep building, though. We don't have to pick a hand yet. We're going to gather five through eight, four numbers around your multiples. Seven characters. We're going to pass. We don't even know what hand we're playing. There's a nine crack. South so now win. we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. We do have One a nine bamboo. 
for big odds, but we'd have Nine to throw away characters. a pair of seven bams. We're just gonna keep gathering. Five characters. I'm thinking, oh, oh, no, we're gonna, we're gonna pass. I don't even know what hand we're playing yet. We're gonna stay concealed to stay flexible. We're not gonna commit North to anything wind. yet. Four bamboos. We have a ways to go. We have two Home. discards, really three if we consider the flower. West wind. Okay, there's a five. We'll keep it. Let's let the two go. Two dots. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine in cracks. Seven characters. We're going to pass. And then a five dot, seven bam pair, and five an eight. Five bamboos. Nope. Not looking for that at all. Six characters. Pass. A flower. All right, well, that's information that can Three change characters. this. So we have the potential for maybe one suit Kong or six bamboo. Maybe five, six, seven in mixed suits or nine five, characters. seven, nine in six suits. We're going to pass that. Did I just say six suits? Three suits. East wind. Okay, white dragon. We'll keep it for a minute. Now we start drilling in. There are two nine cracks out. I think that should go first. Nine characters. So at the moment, we have five through eight. We're just going to keep two gathering. characters. We're just going to gather. Eight characters. Hopefully we can build in something with a pair of flowers. One character. Okay, there's a six band. Let's discard. Let's see, we have six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, five dot, eight crack. Let's let the eight go. Eight characters. So we have five, six, seven, eight. Nine bamboo. Two multiples in there. We could do, let's eight see. Eight characters. We're just going to wait. There's Three too many dots. discards in here. I think next the seven crack can go. Seven characters. Maybe the white dragon can Nine go. Nine bamboos. So we have Four five, characters. six, seven, eight in two suits. Pung, pung, kong, kong. White dragon. We'll pass. Let that go now. White dragon. If we get a six dot five or a nine bamboos. dot, we could maybe play the mixed suit Kong hand. Third hand down under consecutive run or second hand down under odds. One bamboo. North can go. North wind. At this point, if a five crack or seven, seven bam, bamboos. Okay, let's go ahead and Kong. Kong. Well, I know we're playing a gap hand. One So dot. what we want here is either five, six, seven, eight, pung, pung, kong, kong, or three fill bamboos. a gap, six dot or nine dot. That would be ideal to get a six dot or nine dot because then we can use the pair of flowers. Otherwise, we're going to have to throw those away. Three dots, pung. Six characters. Okay, now I think we should go ahead and pung. Pung. And let's let the flowers go. Flower. First one out. Kong. Oh, no joker. All right, that's okay. Now we're going to let this bamboo. one go again. We'll let the flower go. Flower. Now we can, we can pung the five crack, and then we just need help with our eight, but we can use any number of jokers there. South wind. Five, six, seven, eight, pung, pung, kong, kong. And the reason we went with this one is because we have dot. no gaps. This is the fifth hand down on the right. West wind. East wind. There are two jokers up for grabs. Two characters. Right here, six crack, seven bam. Nine dots. Oh, that was one of the tiles we were hoping for. Six bamboos. All right, we got the five crack. Two bamboos. So we'll keep that. We just need help with our eight bam. We're still in the middle Red game. Dragon. We have about two more picks, and then we'll be in the end game. Nine dots. We have two discards, so we should play to win. Eight dots. It's going to be a, a force, though, because we need... Let's see. Let's let the six bam go. 
six bamboos. I don't think this five ba or five dots Three should go characters. next. We're heading into the end game in the East next wind. after the next pick. This is our only fresh tile. Two characters. So we're gonna discard that next. One red dragon is out. Five dots. Somebody might want that. To the right. Hmm, maybe. Five bamboos. So we need to let this red dragon go next. The four bamboos should be a good discard for later because it's there are three Joker. out. Uh oh, somebody's throwing away a joker. Red dragon. So they're probably playing three characters. Pair pair pong with dragons. They probably need a two three. We have a three bam right here. Flower. Two bam, three bam pairs with green dragons. One character. That's my guess right there. Two dots. I think they need this three bam. Eight characters. There's Flower. one out, and there are two two bams out. No green dragons are Four out. Four characters. We'll keep that Four there. Bamboos. We have one one risky tile left. What I'm Four hoping dots. is someone will discard a three bam. They won't be ready. They were ready for it. Oh boy. Okay, so here we have Pung Pung Kong Kong one suit. Four, five, six, seven. Pung, pung, kong, kong. Over here, ready to win on a green dragon or a three bam. And there's the three bam right there. They were ready to win. This is why you want to practice reading hands so you can decide whether or not you want to play to win or switch to defense. Over here, they had a green dragon they needed to discard. They were playing one, two, three dragon, so they had... They had a risky tile with the eight bam and a risky tile with the green dragon. So that was a tough, we were both in a tough spot. So here we were one away from ready with a risky tile. Learn how to read hands. It'll help your game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.